uh, November 13th and it's around six o'clock and we're really happy to be here in the upper gallery studio. My name is Bob Foster. I'm the director at the museum and we have technical support from Rand Hoppy and our celebrated guests are Mika Endo and uh, uh, Kasaki Endo, husband and wife. And we're here really to talk to the artist, which is uh, Mika. Greetings, greetings. And uh, her, her husband, Kasaki, is here for moral support and might uh, fine tune some of the conversation. So uh, we've done a few of these now, so hopefully we're getting better at them. And uh, it's another way to interpret the art. And we so enjoy your work here that we're seeing. Uh, we really encourage people to come to the museum to see it in person. You will see some digital images later, but there's nothing like seeing these in the flesh. And we're open every day except for Monday, uh, more in the afternoons. And uh, we really want to see you here in the museum. So um, as I look around here, I see such a positive outlook about Hoboken. And I'm just wondering what, I mean, I know the answer, but what has inspired you about the work that you're showing? Uh, uh, I like uh, scenery of Hoboken. Uh, I wanted to get a paint, um, beautiful townscape painting, but mm -hmm. I couldn't find it. So maybe I can paint this beautiful scenery um, by myself. <laughs> And uh, is there a particular theme you're trying to capture with this work? Yes, my theme is um, fusion of old and new. Yeah, uh, there are a lot of historical, historical buildings in the town, and uh, it um, will harmonize with our, how can I say, other uh, city, our daily life, mm -hmm. so. Say again? Daily life. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so okay. So <laughs> I want to show um, beauty of old and the new. Yeah. Right, right. And does any of this relate to other places you've lived, your hometown, or? Yes, uh, I'm originally from Miyagi Prefecture, Japan. And uh, my hometown was completely destroyed a decade ago because massive tsunami um, swallowed everything. And 90% uh, of buildings were destroyed and uh, I lost my family and uh, um, a lot of remembering. So I was so, I was uh, um, regret. Uh, maybe I should draw my beautiful hometown and I kept, to my, kept, kept out of my hand. So I'm always thinking, I want, um, I, I always wishing um, this Hoboken beautiful scenery continue forever and uh, um, people, people who, who loves, who loves uh, Hoboken will be happy and healthy. Um, yeah, so I wanted, how can I say, record this mm -hmm. beautiful town wow. for the people. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I mean, many people have commented mm -hmm. that you you actually make Hoboken look better than it <laughs> does. <laughs> yeah. And this is coming from people who love the town mm -hmm. and they they just comment about how how your visual has so enhanced the town mm -hmm. and just can't figure out where it comes from, uh, uh, your love of Hoboken. Yeah, I love uh, Hoboken. You love Hoboken. <laughs> I feel that. Your drawings say that. Mm -hmm. And that's that sometimes is hard for, you know, when you're looking down a street and you see all the telephone lines <laughs> and all the messy stuff, yeah. and you make the messy stuff look good. Mm -hmm. And that's <laughs> so you. joyful to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, most many times I'll talk to someone and I'll, I'll you know they're just kind of they're in awe mm -hmm. and then I'll just make the comment that no one has ever made Hoboken look better 
and no one has ever made Hoboken telephone lines look better. So I think that's a special talent. Um, can you talk about some of your influences, the people who you admire as artists uh, today? Yes, I, my favorite artist, artist is French artist Claude Monet. I learned, I learned how to draw light and shadow from him. And uh, um, I was uh, um, influenced, influenced by Hayao, Mizaya, Hayao Miyazaki. Uh, he was well known for Spirited Away. Yeah, she, he established uh, Studio Ghibli. Mm -hmm. uh, so in Japan, he is so famous. Mm -hmm. His, his, his work is uncompromised uncom at all. Yeah, I always impressed <laughs> his work. Yeah. Right. And just to think each, each one is a drawing, mm -hmm. right? You know, because it's animation. Mm -hmm. So think of all those drawings. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. And um, can you talk a little bit about how you work your yeah. your process. Uh -huh. uh, you have the blank piece of paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What comes next? Yes, I, I make a sketch by pencil um, and then I trace the line by pen, very thin pen. Mm -hmm. After that, I use watercolor and uh, I, I paint it bit by bit mm -hmm. and uh, pile it up, increasing thickness. Yeah, and uh, finish, whole finishing touch, I used highlight, white, white color. Really? Yeah. White. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I didn't realize that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then was this a technique you learned or something you kind of found? Mm -hmm. I mean, are you self-taught in this technique? Yes, yeah, self-taught. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing. There's something very... Um, alluring, seductive, and beautiful about the combination of uh, the sharp edge mm -hmm. of the pen, the boldness, mm -hmm. uh, the delicacy, mm -hmm. and then the watercolor. Mm -hmm. There's, it's like a perfect marriage, mm -hmm. I think, those two mediums. And I've seen many watercolor, mm -hmm. and I've seen many pen and mm -hmm. ink, but I've never seen them used together oh. uh, so well. Mm -hmm. And it kind of gives you goosebumps. Oh, yeah, thank you it's so much. it's it's a really good feeling from mm -hmm. that on there. And uh, so um, I know you have other interests in the arts. You do flower design. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about that and where you uh, studied? Yeah, in London I studied flower arrangement for for four years. Wow! <laughs> so you majored in flower yeah, design. I, I can make. A, Wedding flower, funeral flower, everything. <laughs> wow, wow. Mm -hmm. And I, as I remember, you showed me pictures. You worked at a hospital mm -hmm. where you had to design different floral mm -hmm. arrangements almost daily. Yes. You know, for like at the boardroom mm -hmm. or for a conference and things like that. Yeah, exactly. And they're beautiful. Thank they're beautiful. You. Yeah. And uh, uh, you, I know when we did the exhibit opening recently, you brought different arrangements <laughs> and put them around so they really complemented each other. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty interesting. And uh, what? how did you arrive here in Hoboken? We're so lucky you did, uh, but what, what brought you to Hoboken? Yeah, yeah, yeah. About three years ago, my husband's job was transferred from Osaka to New Jersey. That's why we decided to live in Hoboken. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. And uh, so, that was a that's a great moment yeah. that you chose Hoboken, and why why Hoboken over let's say New York City? <laughs> uh, um, I used to live in London. Um, atmosphere of Hoboken is like a very European atmosphere. So, uh -huh. and the uh, image of town is bright and fashionable. And very relaxed, and uh, there are a lot of kind of people. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, first sight fall in love. <laughs> okay. And nice buildings. Nice right. building, of course. <laughs> nice, nice telephone wires. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Crazy amount of wire. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and um, 
uh, I, I think we should go to some of the images. Mm -hmm. Can we do that? Yes. And maybe you'll talk about some of the things. Mm -hmm. I think most of our viewers are going to recognize different places. And I think something that's interesting when we talked about setting up the exhibit, mm -hmm. um, you you expressly said you did not want to sell any of your work. <laughs> and most artists, uh, you know, look forward to getting acknowledgement through sales and kind of an affirmation that people like the work. If they buy it, they like it. But can you talk about why you don't want to sell the work? Uh, uh, actually, I want to keep just two paintings. And, uh, other one. <laughs> Others I can sell. So now you're saying you can sell them. Okay. <laughs> you heard it here first. Okay. Uh, we may get a few phone calls. Uh, we know that uh, we're setting up a program where we could create digital mm -hmm. prints, mm -hmm. but, but this is a recent change of heart, mm -hmm. right? Yes, you changed yes. your mind. Okay. So uh, we're looking at uh, one of my favorite images. Uh, I'll just state that it's Court Street. Okay, and uh, what what do you? I think people will see right away your technique of the the uh, watercolor and the fine line. Mm -hmm. But can you talk me through it a little bit? What mm -hmm. attracts you to this street? Mm -hmm. Actually, this is my favorite one. Uh huh. <laughs> I will keep this one. This one. Okay. <laughs> Most favorite one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I um, I like to. Um, it's stone, stone, couple mm -hmm. stone, mm -hmm. and, uh, and it it looks very cool. Uh, like a, how can I say? Uh, yeah, and the surface of the road is um, slightly bumping. <laughs> yeah. Very bumping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and. Uh, I'm going to guess that many people who you know have good feelings about Hoboken will say that this is their favorite street, mm -hmm. and it really makes you think of the past. Mm -hmm. And I always joke that when you walk down that street, if you listen hard enough, mm -hmm. you will hear the sound of horse hooves oh. and <laughs> wagon wheels, nice. and uh, you can hear squeaking and and that sort of thud of a horseshoe. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful street, yeah. and uh, there's. Uh, you know, that it, it is, I'm glad that that's your favorite too. Mm. It's my favorite street, and I think it's my favorite one in the piece also. So, and uh, moving on, aha. Uh -huh. This is uh, the Columbia Club, mm -hmm. which would be 11th and Bloomfield, mm -hmm. and has uh, uh, interesting architecture, mm -hmm. but do you say what you like? Ah, um, I think Konyar. Mm -hmm. Konyal Tower is so impressive, mm -hmm. and uh, um, this special shape is um, um, is so special for me. It's really fun to draw this Konyal um, Konyal mm -hmm. Romanesque. Eh? Sorry, and, uh, and so. Yeah, everyone knows this building too. It's very prominently located. And again, I think, you know, when if you were uh, photographing this, you would go those damn wires. Mm -hmm. But uh, but somehow you make them work. And I'm not sure how you do that, but they do work. And um, uh, it does remind me that you are generally working from photographs to do your work. Yes, right? generally, yes. Generally. Yes. So what would be, why would you work on location, like plain air, why, why would you work on location rather than just from a photograph? What's the difference in the experience? Uh, in my case, uh, I spent too much time to draw this special shape so I can't work outside. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> right. so that brings up how much time is involved in these drawings. Uh, for sim simple, simple piece, I use I spent spend about eight hours. Mm -hmm. For more complicated, I use uh, I use 
nearly 30 hours. 30 hours. Mm. So obviously, you would have to be camping out um, <laughs> in yeah, front yeah, of this, yeah, yeah. and people would think you were mm -hmm. a little crazy, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. so um, do you ever start it? Outside and then move from the photograph, or ah, yeah, yeah, sometimes I, right. I do it. Sure, mm. okay, I guess we're moving on. Okay, uh, where let's see, we're on where Fort the building is Our Lady of Grace Church, we're mm. on Fourth Street, looking west mm. by the, right around the park, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, the bicycle is prominently featured, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Would you ever do a drawing and say, oh, I don't like the bicycle, I'm not going to put it in? Uh, I like bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, this bicycle um, gives accent to this view, so this is... I, Necessary. Okay. Necessary. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But uh, <laughs> and but do you ever edit out things you don't like visually? Mm -hmm. Actually, I draw everything. That's what I think. You draw yeah. every, everything. Yeah. You yeah. you you, uh, you can actually read you know the sign that says no street no parking mm -hmm. on Wednesday mm -hmm. from three to five or mm -hmm. whatever it is mm -hmm. you include everything yeah, yeah. and I think people enjoy that ah. and you are seeing things that they know their town mm -hmm. they maybe were born and raised here mm -hmm. but you're showing them little details they mm -hmm. may not even see mm -hmm. and that's pretty interesting <laughs> that's pretty mm -hmm. interesting okay and uh, I, I'm familiar with this location. <laughs> uh, this is Willow Terrace, mm -hmm. uh, Willow Terrace North, mm -hmm. and I can even see the, like the grocery store in the mm -hmm. background right. is uh, mm -hmm. Acme, mm -hmm. and usually I hate that sign, <laughs> but when I see it in your drawing, I like it. Uh, I like it, and uh, so I, I must say that uh, you know, full disclosure. Mm -hmm. I think when we first met. Mm -hmm. I asked you to, I commissioned you to do a drawing, mm -hmm. and you do do commissions mm -hmm. uh, once the price is agreed upon, and you say, yeah, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you won't do every place, you know, but you were happy to do this, yeah. and I so appreciated it. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, you, after we did our transaction, you said, uh, if you don't like this one, I have another one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is in the exhibit, mm -hmm. but there's another one that looks exactly mm -hmm. like this. <laughs> Not a digital version, <laughs> but another one that you drew, and it, it must have been from another picture, but three inches to the right. <laughs> and the only thing that really looks different is the watercolor wash, mm -hmm. you know, because that has the fluidity that would be hard to repeat. Mm -hmm. If, but I, I almost think you tried to mm. repeat it. <laughs> anyway, it's a beautiful shot. Okay, and we're going to move on. Ah, a lot of comments about this one. Mm -hmm. uh, library is such an important institution in the city. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you do credit classes at the library for mm -hmm. getting you uh, somewhat motivated to paint the town. Can you talk about that a little uh -huh. bit? Yes, uh, I met the Hoboken artist when recently is Koen Nodoye. He she is teaching art class in the pub, Hoboken Public Library. Mm -hmm. He she always encouraged me to draw, mm -hmm. and uh, his uh, uh, her mysterious mysterious painting. <laughs> made me want to try to want to draw so I tried to uh, very difficult <laughs> <laughs> the for library. me this one is quite difficult this is one of those uh, 30 hours yes, 30 hours. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we could retitle a lot of these by how many uh, hours they took uh, uh, and uh, Again, a beautiful one. But mm -hmm. that's so great that here you are, mm -hmm. you know, transplanted from Japan, mm 
you go to the library, mm-hmm. which is like, you know, very important in a community mm-hmm. and not finding books per se, mm-hmm. but maybe you did that too, mm-hmm. but you found an art class yes. and it gave you um, affirmation mm-hmm. uh, to continue your work here. Mm-hmm. Uh, many people think to create uh, important works, you need to do it in New York mm-hmm. or Paris, but you found the beauty here in Little Hoboken. Yeah. So I think people are going to really yes. be, you know, I, so supportive of yeah, you. Yeah. I really appreciate Hoboken um, provide us a lot of um, variety, um, variety of uh, how can activity. It's almost uh, it's uh, high level, <laughs> always high level. And right. I really enjoyed it. So okay. I love Hoboken. Okay, yeah. you're, you're saying all the right stuff here in the Hoboken <laughs> yeah. historical museum. Um, and you know we're still in the middle of COVID, the mm-hmm. pandemic, mm-hmm. and we talk about you know winter could make things a little mm-hmm. worse. Um, is this a good time for an artist to do their work? Has it been a good time for you to create your work? Um, yes and no, because mm-hmm. my husband works from home, <laughs> 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 so. I can't, sometimes I can't concentrate. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Does it work both ways? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Mm, he, maybe he feels same. <laughs> uh, right, yeah, right. He can't concentrate. So do you have a, a like part of a room that is your studio? Uh, Where do you work? We live in one bedroom. One bedroom. Room. So you're in the hallway painting? <laughs> <laughs> So it's so well, if you ever want to come here to work, it's been a little quiet, so uh, we'll, we'll set you up, okay? <laughs> we'd, we'd love to watch you work and maybe even film you while you work, okay? We'll edit it. We can't do 20 hours. Oh. Okay, but we'll do it. okay, and what do we got? Ah, okay. So, um... I'm just going to ask that it seems a lot of your works you really like to promote the floral mm-hmm. and I, I connect with your flower mm-hmm. arranging mm-hmm. skills, but were these flowers really there mm-hmm. or did you put them oh, there? Really there. They were there. Yeah. I was trying to trick you. Because okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would see it would be tempting to fill the frame to mm-hmm. balance it out, mm-hmm. just like flower arranging, placement, symmetry, and mm-hmm proximity that you might want to do something like yeah. that but you're painting true to what you see mm, i visited this place so many times to take this picture right yeah i want to um, make more realistically so uh-huh. yeah i i always uh, um, go to the uh, place um, which, uh, where i want to draw mm-hmm. uh, so, yeah, I, I made a lot of effort to do sure. this. Sure. <laughs> so we're, um, mm. we're at Holy Innocence, which mm. is uh, a beautiful mm. church, uh, which has a lot of history, and mm. it's uh, Willow and uh, Sixth, I believe, Sixth. Mm. Uh, and so will, when you work, do you put your pictures on the computer screen? And enlarge them, or are you making a physical print? What do you, What are you looking at when uh, you are? When I draw this, drew, drew this one. When I was draw, drawing this one, I used the computer screen. But yes. After that, uh, after that, it, I made a print. You, yeah. made, you work yeah. from the print, yeah. right? Right. And. You know, many times when people work from a photograph, you can tell Mm -hmm. there's a flatness Mm -hmm. to that, I think, you know, because two dimensional Mm -hmm. photograph, Mm -hmm. two dimensional drawing, Mm -hmm. but you still, it, you know, uh, I know, I I wouldn't know you're working from photographs unless I see the angle, Mm -hmm. you know, the convergence, like Mm -hmm. the library, Mm -hmm. you kind of look up, you kind of see the converging Mm -hmm. lines but your work still has a lot of dimension, mm-hmm. which a lot of people I don't think are able to pull off. Mm-hmm. So, okay. And we're moving on. Ah, okay. Um, so this is uh, 
an establishment in town, Willie McBride's yeah. on the west side, and right behind Acme <laughs> Supermarket. And again, the flowers mm -hmm. are just so beautiful. Yeah. And is this a 20 to 30 hour piece? Yes, <laughs> maybe 25. 25, 25-er, <laughs> okay. And even that tree on the right that's not quite making it on top, mm -hmm. you, you show that without the leaves. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Okay, we're moving on. Ah, that's a lot of people. This is their favorite place. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Lisa's Deli mm -hmm. and uh, on the corner there. And I just love how you show all the little signage and the <laughs> peeling paint and mm -hmm. uh, the... Uh, you know, the awnings, it, it very, very Hoboken, mm -hmm. for sure, mm -hmm. a neighborhood place on there. Mm -hmm. And I guess we'll move on a little more. And go ahead, tell um, us. <laughs> actually, di uh, it's difficult to draw this building because I, when I draw this building, mm -hmm. uh, the sign is always behind the building. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the perspective is hard yes, because hard. to, you know, when you get close, you, you, you lose the clock tower, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But even this portable fencing on the lower left, mm -hmm. you, you show that. Yeah. You know, most people go, oh, I hate that <laughs> stuff, you know? And you mm -hmm. tonally, you made it work with the, mm -hmm. the blue and the, the copper patina. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's... And, um, you know, I think you do, I always have a theory that most visual people are, especially doing photography, you're usually more comfortable horizontal, mm -hmm. like the landscape, mm -hmm. but you've chosen to do most of yours as verticals, mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes you don't plan it, but you're very comfortable with verticals. You're vertical. And most, uh, most visual people I find are more horizontal. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I could be making that up, but that's my sense. Okay. And I, um, oh, okay. And so that, yeah, that's the balance, right? Of yeah. Too close, too far, mm -hmm. or, you know, finding the right distance. Mm -hmm. But uh, a, a nice job with the trees, for yeah. sure. I love the trees. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely, definitely. So um, are, you, are you in any of the drawings? Have you included him in any of your drawings? Yes. Uh, <laughs> the previous we'll wait till we pre come pre to it. One. It just popped into yeah, my yeah, head. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. Oh, the previous he, one? La Kawana. He has um, my son. Oh, that's your son. <laughs> yeah, and uh, this one is my husband. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> cool, cool. And tell me how old your son is again. Uh, Did you, so. I think when he was uh, 19 years old, I draw this one, but now he is 21 years old. Okay, yeah. wow, full grown. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. He, he lives in Japan. Okay. Alone. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. So, do you uh, uh, Zoom each other or FaceTime or do you talk or? Not much. Not too much. <laughs> okay, he's out there exploring life. Yeah, yeah. Okay. In, independent soul. Independent soul. soul. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool, cool. Okay, I have a few more. Oh, I mm. love this one too. Um, so people would recognize that as the plaque that celebrates mm. baseball yeah. here in Hoboken. It's really funny. I actually don't like the way that plaque is designed. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little cool. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a little... I don't know, a little bland, mm -hmm. um, and but with the flowers, you just make it pop. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really fun. It's yeah, fun. I wanted the beautiful shadow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, flower is shining in the sunlight. And right. uh, yeah, flower make uh, cast a beautiful shadow into the stones. So mm -hmm. I tried to uh, more attractive. Uh, I mean. Baseball plug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> More, like yeah, it's More floral. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's difficult. <laughs> it's one of the few without telephone lines, too, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> okay. So let's see. And, ah, okay. And 
people would recognize this as the Fireman's uh, mm -hmm. Monument mm -hmm. in uh, Church Square Park mm -hmm. on the west side mm -hmm. and uh, near the Dog Run, mm -hmm. right? A yes, very the active run. area, mm -hmm. right? And uh, that's I think, goes back to the 1880s mm -hmm. and uh, is a tribute to all the uh, firemen mm -hmm. who served and mm -hmm. some who died here in Hoboken. And I, it's hard for me to see, it's on the other side, but there's actually the little lantern mm -hmm. that, they, that the fireman holds. Mm -hmm. And now they've started lighting it up at night, the lantern. It's mm -hmm. kind of interesting. They got it working again. Okay. And, aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. So, I believe you, all your work is dated, right? Mm -hmm. And so, the, this is recent work. For the most part, right? Uh, they you did you started them more in 2019, or does it go back a little? Yeah, 2018. I started um, November 19. Uh, 2018. 18. November. <laughs> wow. So all this work is from you know the last, We're in November now, 2020. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's all two years. Oh, it's two years. Yeah. Okay. So the amount of time you've put into these, you've actually been very productive. Mm -hmm. Do you think if it was a non-COVID time, mm -hmm. would you have as much work, do you think? Uh, Hard to tell. Um, uh, actually, I struggled to draw, so I stopped for three months to draw. I couldn't make it because of COVID-19 okay. makes me depressed. It so. makes you depressed, <laughs> right, right. It makes us all depressed. Yeah, You're yeah. lucky, only three months? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, but does doing the work kind of put your mind in a better place? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I, I could jump in another, another world <laughs> when I drawing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And uh, here we are down on the waterfront. Waterfront, and pier. On mm -hmm. the pier, mm -hmm. right, right. And is this the little park by Sybil's Cave? or No, this is a little, I'm not exactly sure where this is. Mm -hmm. but Pier C. Uh, okay, <laughs> Pier C, thank you. Yes, Ran, Ran nailed it. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is, is this the first one we've seen which actually has New York in it? I think. I think. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe uh, some others have a little bit. Mm. Maybe over here, the ducks, mm. right? Yes, last time. See, most people, what I like again about the work mm. is that most people, if they're on the waterfront, it's all about New York, mm. the view. Mm. But you are still capturing Hoboken, mm. you know, <laughs> as the most important thing. Okay. So we're, we're kind of rah-rah Hoboken <laughs> here. Okay, mm. cool. Uh, yes, mm. the ducks. And you, you even have a carnival tours boat in yeah, the background yeah, 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 for yeah, the yeah. graphics. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, those ducks can be pretty aggressive, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if yeah, you yeah. get too close yeah, and yeah. you're, you're um, kind of intersecting with the goslings, mm -hmm. uh, the mom ducks will really, mm -hmm. they'll come after you mm -hmm. on there. Okay, cool. And... Uh, Tell me about this one. It's a little <laughs> different than some of the others. Yes, uh, I. Yeah, this this one is also my favorite one. I don't. <laughs> I'm this not can't sell either. Them. Okay, we got yeah. two, but we got fifteen <laughs> others. <laughs> yeah, um, I like uh, light 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 blue color and. Uh, Red door and fire hydrant is uh, make bring to the building accent, mm -hmm. and uh, I enjoyed uh, different material of building uh, like yellow stone and old brick wall and um, shops uh, um, blue 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 wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to uh, show <laughs> uh, different different materials. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
you know, to me, that's old Hoboken. Mm -hmm. As new buildings get built, things mm -hmm. become more sanitized. Mm -hmm. The materials mm -hmm. are more generic. Mm -hmm. And this shows this composite of all the different surfaces. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the firehouse being right next to the glass door. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the dog. Mm -hmm. It's our first dog, I think. <laughs> so we had ducks, but now we got a dog. Right. And uh, everyone... I'm, yeah, I, I know the family that owns that. I can't remember if they have a new dog, but <laughs> uh, but you captured that dog really beautifully. Yeah. I'll have to go by and ask them what's going on. <laughs> uh, that's on Clinton Street, I think, uh, uh, yeah. and probably around uh, 8th Street, something like that. And that's uh, one of our mm -hmm. about six different firehouses mm -hmm. we have in town. Yeah. Okay. And aha. Uh -huh. So tell me about this image. Mm, there are a lot of gorgeous houses in the town. This is one of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I um, wanted to show uh, it, this building seems to come, come up from fairy, tale, fairy land mm -hmm. for, for me. <laughs> 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 so um, I, I used pale color, mm -hmm. mm, more, to more standard, uh, this building, and uh, I, I want to create calm atmosphere, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. so, yeah. I think the flowers yeah, do yeah, that yeah. too, mm -hmm. and uh, we're on Hudson Street on the 900 mm -hmm. block, mm -hmm. and looking east, mm -hmm. and there are two houses that are like this, mm -hmm. that are like I call them sister houses, mm. and ah, done yeah. by the same architect, but ah. their treatment is a little different. Mm. And uh, I, I can't see the address. It's like 925, <laughs> 927, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, a beautiful shot, mm. a beautiful shot. And I'll make sure the owners see this image ah. on there. So, cool, excellent. And let's see, is that our last one? Oh, another, another. Okay. okay. Um, it's interesting seeing them, you know, for us, we're looking fairly small, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So we don't, you know, we do really want to encourage people to come visit mm -hmm. and see the actual mm -hmm. drawings because of that fine detail mm -hmm. and that nice blend of water wash mm -hmm. with pen. And uh, do you want to say anything here? I really want, uh, really tried to show um, beautiful cast, beautiful shadow. The shadows. Shadows, yes. <laughs> I mean, I find this middle area where the grass is and the yeah. shadows mm -hmm. is uh, very Monet-ish yeah. and uh, and abstract in a way, mm -hmm. you know, which is a little different mm -hmm. uh, than the fine detailing. Mm -hmm. So to me, it's very interesting. Maybe when it's bigger, I'd see it differently, but that's what, that's what I see, that, mm -hmm. that green and the shadow area. Mm -hmm. And you can almost feel the light you yeah, know, shimmering yeah. in your eyes a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's beautiful. That's St. Peter and Paul's Church mm -hmm. uh, on Hudson, on the, uh, just on uh, you know, one of the park benches within the interior mm -hmm. of Stevens Park, yeah, yeah, I think I we know. call it. I think there are a lot of beautiful stained glass in this in mm -hmm. the uh -huh. church. Sure, mm -hmm. yeah, that, that could be, yeah, we need mm -hmm. some interior shots mm -hmm. for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and aha, uh -huh, we're back at the beginning. <laughs> yay, 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 yay. That wasn't too bad, was it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was worse. No, no, you did great. You did great. Um, so I'm not sure, uh, Ran. Do we have any questions or uh, well comments? Or you could make one too. Well, we uh, Bill Bill Curran, um, who just left. He's uh, he, he he's wondering if you would ever try to do an oil paintings. Ah, uh, I um. Uh, Long time ago, I tried oil painting. Uh, I 
made a lot on lot of oil painting as uh, but uh, everything <laughs> I lost because tsunami <laughs> swallowed oh, everything. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so, so I don't have oil painting. Right. <laughs> and also can be a little difficult in a one bedroom apartment like, mm -hmm. where you're sharing, mm -hmm. like, right? He'll, mm -hmm. The, the fumes, yeah. Yeah. the fumes on there, whatever. Okay. We also have uh, Margot, from, who's I think up in West New York. Um, uh, maybe. Su suggesting uh, oh. that you might teach you... a class in flower arranging. <laughs> <laughs> I know Margot. <laughs> How do you know Margot? From the art class? Uh, from... Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You, you are right, Margot. Her, uh, <laughs> her uh, flower design skills are right up there. And uh, I, I'm I'm up for doing a class. Mm. Do you, would you be interested in teaching a class in flower <laughs> design? Yeah, yeah, I can do it because <laughs> I have a lot of uh, certificates. I, I I have a four type of flower <laughs> <laughs> certificate. I okay. can teach sure. it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, we don't really actually need you to have a certificate <laughs> to teach the class, right. but if that will give you. Uh, prominence and uh, confidence, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't think you really need the certificate. <laughs> and uh, you know, once you start, if people see that what you do, they're not going to say, "Where's your certificate?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's um, pretty good. Ro Roger on YouTube, when we were talking about um, shooting a video of you working, was encouraging us to do that to see some of your process. Ah. Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Nice comment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. We can cut between uh, floral design and drawing. Mm -hmm. oh. And I, I bet you have some other tricks too. <laughs> <laughs> I must say you are such a perfectionist, but the work is still very fluid. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you're so perfectionist, you, uh, you know, it makes you kind of tight, mm -hmm. you know, but you have overcome that mm -hmm. or your pen has. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And uh, should we time out? Yeah, let's, let's, let's end it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. And uh, I know this was not uh, kind of the thing you signed on for, <laughs> but it will help get people to see the work. And hopefully, uh, now that you're saying you're selling the work, <laughs> you know, that can happen. And even though we're operating under COVID circumstances, mm -hmm. Uh, we are open in the upper gallery. We do have limited visitation, mm -hmm. uh, but you really should get over to the museum. The work is up till December 23rd. So you're sort of taking us to the end of the year. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad that you walked into the museum last August and showed your work. And uh, uh, really thank that Liz uh, mm -hmm. encouraged you mm -hmm. and uh, we want to encourage you as much as possible. Uh, okay. Thank you so okay. Much. Thank you so much. We can do this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> thank you. okay. Great. Okay. Signing off at the Hoboken Historical Museum Upper Gallery. Thank you.